It is Friday night. It's officially the weekend. I'm headed to go get some pizza. And uh, thought I would do a little video on some updates. Things that I've had to do with my koi, koi tank. And uh, I built a little a filter system. And uh, I just thought I'd put together a short little video and show you how I did mine. It's a little different than some that I've seen on YouTube, so hopefully you enjoy. What is up, y'all? Just down here in my aquatic basement. Uh, thought I would give you guys an update on what has been going on. Um, it's been years since I have raised koi fish and you know you gotta filter out the waste that they make because they're they like to go to the bottom and dust up the bottom and eat off the bottom and stuff and it's not good for them and a tank that has a hundred gallons in it can get away from you fast and I noticed this last week you couldn't hardly see them I tried to video underwater one time and it was like really foggy that could have been the food, but I noticed there was a bunch of waste on the bottom that my one pump from Amazon wasn't getting. So, I put together, I found it online, so this isn't my own idea, but I put together, see if I can back up here a little bit, a trickle filter. And if you're going to do it this way, you're better off to have it over the water because I just got it done just a little bit ago and I've got, well I did, I've got them fixed now but I had a couple of little leaks here and there. Basically, you buy these little dresser, plastic dresser drawer things from Walmart and you cut a hole, a bunch of holes in the bottom of it and the water trickles down from layer to layer until it goes all the way out crystal clear so what you do is you buy one of your cheap Amazon pumps for like $15 I think this one's a 300 gallon per hour so you cut that in half and it's really 150 gallon per hour um, it pumps up to here I've got it situated in the middle of the tank. It pumps up to here. And if you can see inside, there's filter floss. Then if you know what that is, that is just mattress foam, egg crate. And then we got some more filter floss. And then we got standard like medium density foam. And then we got another egg crate. Okay. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put like a a piece of PVC across the top and cap it off on the end and poke a bunch of holes in it to where it trickles down over all of it. But my little bulkhead fitting here, it wasn't the right one, so I need to get a different one. But if you look underneath it, it's going all the way across it. It's trickling like it's supposed to all the way across it. It's just not perfection yet. And then the next level is your cheap lava rock from Walmart so so far we're pretty cheap still and then the next level down here is I um, took another drawer and cut it in half and put it down in there and poked holes in the bottom of it and I put a layer of uh, aquarium filter pad here and then I put uh, activated carbon chunks across the top that way on this bottom layer the water has to go through it and I hadn't seen anything like that online in any of the designs um, I just didn't want my carbon to be down here in the bottom and the drain be like up here and the water not have to actually go through the carbon I mean mine water has to go through the carbon and to the bottom and then I added some pool noodles down here for extra surface area to catch anything. If you can find one that has four shelves, after the first shelf, you can put things like this 
and then like scouring pads and different things like that in the second shelf and then the third shelf you can have lava rock and then the fourth shelf can be carbon but we've got like nine layers here and I've got mine mounted just on a makeshift thing I mean whenever I first started my water tank this little shelf right here touched here and over there exactly but as I started filling it up with water the side started expanding and that little shelf is just a, a shelf off of this little rack that you can get at Menards there and I wanted my bed to be suspended up above my tank well as the water started getting fuller and fuller they weren't reaching anymore I mean there's a gap over here well on another project that I've been working on that didn't ever work out I got these heavy-duty steel uh, shelving beams and I mean they're heavy-duty and I got them all the way across and that's what my bed is setting on is on the rack and then on those for support well I just went underneath and screwed some screws into this wood and then I screwed some screws into the edge of this and this is on there solid the only thing is is when you are making this and you're drilling all your holes it's real important that the holes are in from the supports that it sets on because that's where you can get your leaks from um, if your holes are drilled too far to the edge here it will start leaking down the side and stuff and trickling down but I got mine running really good um, if you play your cards right you can get it for really cheap a lot cheaper than you could buy a system like this online I would think that if you bought a system that does what this thing does it probably cost you a couple hundred bucks and this was fifty dollars or less and um, just pretty simple you got a little cheap aquatic pump pumps water up here through all these different layers and it trickles down you know you just drill and another thing that you need to really watch whenever you're making this thing is on the first layer you know let's say you've got 50 holes the next layer it might not be a bad idea to do a few more holes maybe a little bit bigger because if you've got big holes up here and small holes down here this one will flow faster and it might flood this one same way with the bottom your drain pipe it has to be bigger than your inlet pipe because if it's as small as what your inlet pipe is your bottom one will overflow and trust me I know that from experience that's why I had to buy two of these shelves <laughs> um, but yeah it's working like a champ my garden you guys can see my lettuce is really popping up everywhere got a few onions that are sprouting too got one onion popping up right there and uh, yeah the biggest reason why I did the new filtration system is to keep things like that right there from getting into my grow bed you don't want that stuff right there getting into your grow bed and uh, also it filters out the ammonia and the water is still going to have the nutrients that your bed needs so the little crayfish one over here I'm not going to worry about it so much because it's small amount of water I mean there might be 20 gallons of water in there and it's staying really crystal clear the plants are doing good there I did look at the cucumbers today and they're starting to pop out uh, the carrots aren't yet but the lettuce is sure gonna be full <laughs> um, now that the water is clear I'll probably put a camera down put a camera down in the water tree you guys can see the uh, the koi fish so that's my update um, it's not a DIY it's just pretty much show you guys what I did and it works so uh, look them up it's a DIY trickle filter pretty easy to do I also wanted to show you guys the other day I came out here and right down there was a cucumber seed that it fell down into the water and trickled all the way down and I grabbed it and I put it let's 
boxing right there under the rocks and if you can see that it is starting to sprout I thought that was kind of cool and then the other night I uh, came down here I don't remember what I was doing and on the other side of my basement there was a dead crawfish and then the next morning I came down here and the biggest crawfish that I have was down here on the floor and he'd gotten into some cobwebs in my basement and he was crawling around and I grabbed him and I rinsed him off and got everything off of there and put it back in but what I think I had figured out is I had this large I had been using this as a rock guard whenever I was trying to make the siphon to the big bed over there and I had this down in the water kind of over here and I think they had been crawling up on top of that and getting out because I'm down to like six so somewhere in my basement I think the little ones got out because none of the babies are in there I had five little babies that I had caught none of those are in there so they either got eight and I did see a head floating around in there one day so it, it's a possibility that big one he is a mean mud sucker there he is right there actually right by the pond he is a mean mud sucker literally and uh, anyhow down to five adults but the whole reason why I wanted to tell you this and I'll shoot to the clip right now is I came down here one night and caught two of them breeding I didn't think I had a female so I'm gonna cut to that clip right now came down here to get a thumbnail for another video and I just witnessed these two crawdads breeding. That is what they are doing. Guaranteed. So yeah, they seem to be doing pretty good, and uh, it's all easy, it just takes a while. And a lot of these videos online, they don't show you a uh, supply list, so, but it's hard to do a supply list because every setup is different, you know, I mean, you just pretty much gotta know the basics and make lots of trips to the hardware store. Hey Dozy. What you doing, my boy? You wanna come here and see me? You wanna come here and see me, my boy? You wanna come here and see me, my boy? Oh, yeah, she's a good boy. We're gonna have a good weekend. Sick him. Get him. Sick him, Dozy. Get him. Sick him, Dozy. Let's get him. Sick him. Get him. Some kind of guard dog you are, Dozer. Lazy. Dozer, are you lazy? It is nice that it is the weekend. I mean to tell you what a long week it was. So, um, the clouds sure are pretty. It looks like it may turn off and rain. I don't know, but uh, don't really have much planned this weekend. I know uh, Ashton was wanting to go to a movie and Austin went to it last night. He went to the Transformers movie, but uh, I don't know. May end up going doing some fishing. I don't know. So uh, I know this was a little boring video and a lot of you guys aren't interested in it, but um, just wanted to make a little video to update and uh, thanks for coming along though. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out y'all.